Good morning, friends. It is around 9 a.m. I am just waking up because I got up at 3 to watch Serena Williams play her quarterfinal match, which she played flawlessly. And then I was like, I gotta go back to sleep or it's gonna be a rough day. So it's around nine o'clock, I am up. Steven is on Zoom and I am going to get some breakfast going and we're gonna make some banana nut oatmeal. All right, I need oatmeal, a banana and walnuts. Oats, a cup of water, a pinch of salt. While wow, that's going, I'm just gonna get this banana sliced. Bananas, some vanilla. I'm gonna smash a couple walnuts in my hand. And then just a little bit of brown sugar. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then think about the day. It has been a low key morning. So I am currently reading this book, The Office of Historical Corrections. And I just have to say, it is fantastic. It is a collection of short stories. And I will tell you, Danielle Evans, her voice as an author is fantastic. I highly recommend it. I think this could be one that I'll be gifting to lots of friends too, but I should be finishing it up today and it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. All that is going on right now, and like I said, it's like the afternoon already. I've been really low key. Getting up at 3 a.m. to watch that match was very much needed, but also has taken a lot out of me today. I have this stew going here, and then also our bread that we made yesterday, which we'll finish today. If you look at that, see how many holes are in it? That's exactly what you want, and you'll see that it's gotten really large. I have been toying with a couple things around the house. Uh, Steven is laughing at me as I was Thinking about maybe changing up this table a little bit, but I do really like it. Maybe we'll just keep it. I've been thinking about like making the legs more square, but now that I'm seeing it, I think I really think it, I like it. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep it because I like that it feels a little bit more traditional. And then we also have one of the pieces of pine molding we got this as like a sample to see how that's going to work. Casing this in and it's actually pretty darn perfect once you cock it and all of that. But yeah, it's been a really low key day. We got not as much snow as they were anticipating, although it's supposed to snow more this week. We only got about six more inches out there. But Steven dug a path for the dog. That's all that's happening. Yep. All right. It has been such a lazy day. What are you doing? Fixing your mistake. You put the lock on after you came to this door. The wrong way. Upside down and the wrong way. <laughs> now it's fine. See, oh, it, now we're safe. I'm going to get my pastry mat out just because it is easier to clean up. I am going to throw my La Crusade Dutch oven in the oven while it reheats. At 425. It's really going to be simple. We're not going to actually do a whole lot to it. I'm just gonna get some flour on here so it doesn't stick. And I'm also gonna get my hands floured up. All right, we're going to uncover this. And what you want it to look like, let me grab this really quick so you guys can see. All those little holes, that's what you want. So what we're going to, what we're going to do is we're just going to press this down. We're gonna make sure our hands are really well floured. This is going to be a really sticky dough. It is not easy to work with, but I promise it will be delicious. So we're gonna get this out. On our mat. 
sprinkle it with just a little bit of flour just so I can work with it. And once again, just make sure there's flour in my hands. And what I wanna do is I just wanna get this shaped into a ball. So I'm just going to keep moving it and then just pulling it back with my fingers a little bit, tucking. And it's going to be loose and that's okay. So once I get it in a pretty good, this is literally it. And it's not going to be easy to drop in, but I'm gonna now just let this rest for about 30 minutes while my Dutch oven preheats. That's literally all you do for this bread. All right, we're gonna let that sit. Today has honestly been kind of a waste. I gave myself a quick haircut this morning and took an afternoon bath, finished my book. It was so good. I like wanna read it again already and have just been recovering. Waking up at 3 a.m. to watch that tennis match kind of did me in and threw me off my sleep schedule. Even though I do get up early, I also watched the Naomi Osaka semifinal, so I was already up until like 11. I'm normally in bed at like 7 when I wake up at 4. So I'm just filling it. But great bread recipe. The other thing we have to do is thicken up the stew because I noticed it was a little thin. So let me tell you how I'm going to do that. What I noticed is it's just a little too soupy which easy fix for this. I'm going to go ahead, oh, it smells so good though. I'm going to get a measuring cup and I'm just going to dunk this in and get some of this liquid. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch to that and just stir that in and then pour it in and let it simmer again and it'll thicken right up. We are ready to get the bread going. Steven got me these La Crusade silicone holders. I'm obsessed with them. They're so wonderful to have. All right, so this has been preheating in the oven so it's good and hot. I'm gonna spray it really well and now you're just gonna try to plop this in it's not easy to get in there, but you're just going to try to keep it shape as best as possible. It did not go well. And now we're gonna do 30 minutes in the oven with it covered and then 15 minutes uncovered. Look how perfect it is. I'm gonna let it cool and sit for a little bit on this rack, but I did for 30 minutes covered and then 15 minutes uncovered. It is like perfectly, perfectly, perfectly golden brown, but easy bread. Like literally no time at all. Well, I mean it took two days, but like you really do nothing to it. But it smells amazing in here. Also, my little cornstarch trick worked perfectly. This is now much thicker and more stew-like. Actually, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit. Let the bread cool, and then we will have dinner. Easy peasy dinner tonight. All right, friends, we just finished dinner. We're cleaning up, and I think I'm going to head off to bed. I know today wasn't super exciting, but it's just because I have to recover from that tennis match. Um, tomorrow I have some things planned though. We might go to a thrift shop that I've been looking at, a little home goods adventure, all the things. But I wanted to at least share a couple recipes with you and tomorrow we'll get into a bunch of other things. But I'm not gonna miss a video this week. That's my commitment. I will see you all tomorrow. In the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.